Ja. All right, let's do it. It's Tuesday. This might as well be Monday, though, given that I only did 14 seconds yesterday. It's interesting. I only did 14 seconds, and I only logged 26 views. So it's about the same as normal. I guess that should be reassuring. I thought maybe some of you would just play it over and over and over, but clearly it wasn't exciting enough to warrant that, which is my fault. I'm sorry. Here's to you. Mm. I'm so, so tired. This caffeine isn't working. But this afternoon there was a point, there was a point where I was just kind of fighting it off. <sighs> Catching my second wind now, little boy, let me tell you. No. Gotta get out of here. And I will, right after I'm done talking to you. It's currently 5.54, 5.55 p.m., and it's a staggering 74 degrees outside. Too hot lady. I forgot to turn the heater off. I'll have to turn the heater off when I get home. It's something to think about. As you can see, hockey season's over. I never even really got to a, the point where I got a good beard. It started partially because I forgot to not shave, and then I shaved, and then I... And then the Sharks basically didn't get very far. I think what, it was only five games and then they were eliminated. I only wore Sharks gear one night, I think. Or two. Well, they're only once on video. So, yeah. Sharks are out. Penguins are out. Are the Rangers out? I don't think the Rangers are out yet, but they're pretty close. So everybody I root for is kind of, you know, the Wild never made it, obviously. What do we got? Kings won. I have a, uh, and again, Rich and Cheryl... Cheryl watches. I don't think Rich does. Rich is my roommate in college. Who was the biggest Sharks fan I knew. And hearing him root for the Kings as he does. Just because he lives in the greater Los Angeles area. I don't know. Come on, man. You've changed. I guess people would say that about my Sacramento Kings fandom, though. Given how much I talk about the Timberwolves. St. Louis Blues, eh, okay. But they beat the Sharks. Coyotes, wow. Coyotes won. Clearly, I don't pay attention to hockey. They must be good this year. Predators, wow. Wiped out the Red Wings. That's kind of a surprise, even though they were the higher seed. They have the ugliest uniforms in the NHL, by the way. And I love yellow, so you know they must really be ugly for me to say that. So it's a game seven for the Rangers. When is that? Is that tonight? NHL.com did not tell me. What is tonight? Florida and New Jersey. That game seven is Thursday. That's, uh, what, today's Tuesday? Oh, so that's on when I'm watching the final Timberwolves game. You would schedule it that way. Why are sports conspiring against me? Game seven for the Bruins and the Capitals. That's kind of surprising. I thought the Bruins would uh, have closed it out by now, but I think they were behind in the series, weren't they? Yep, game six for the Panthers and the Devils. Hmm. Go Devils! No chance. And as we already said, the Penguins are out, Flyers are on. Interesting. So I'll, I'll, with no basketball, I'll talk about, well, there's playoff basketball. Timberwolves aren't involved in that either. We'll see. We'll see if I can alienate all of you at different points during these videos by, between discussing basketball and hockey. And now having discussed hockey, let's discuss basketball. The reason I wasn't here yesterday, woo, check it out. Collecting team autographs. Yeah, buddy. 14 of the 15 men on the roster were uh, in the building last night. Ricky Rubio was not. And I don't know why he was in town, but I guess they wanted to have an even number maybe. The way it worked was they put seven people on one table and seven people on another table, and they had two giant lines to go through. The team was only there for an hour, and the thinking was you would pick one line and you would be happy to get half the team, and that was it. However, you can see I had 14 signatures. Signatures. I always say signatures. I mean autographs. 14 autographs on my sign. And we got there just early enough to go through one line, race around to get in the back of the second line, 
and we were literally the last people to get an entire slate. Darko was the last guy. Until he already had a foot out there. And, you know, Darko wanted to be anywhere but there to begin with. That's Darko. The one that's up and down instead of... Man, yeah, try doing that. This is not a mirror, so I can't get my hands where they're supposed to be. So Darko had one foot out the door, but he did sign my sheet. And he did pose for a photo with Kim on his way out the door. And that was it. So there were a lot of people behind us who did not get to complete their slate. But we did. We had the perfect timing. Timed it just right. Had a good parking space. Worked out pretty well. Most of all, most importantly of all, Kim got her FaceTime with Brad Miller. And Brad was at the end of the first group of people. So there was actually a nice gap behind us. So Kim got to spend a lot of time gushing over Brad and mentioning how much she liked Brad and that she actually watched his hunting show and no one else did which is true, and we got the photos. Unfortunately, I didn't notice this till later, but, like, my focus went to, like, some guy's butt in the background between them. So Kim and Brad are a little out of focus. That's only if you have it at the giant blow-up real-size version. When you shrink it down, you can't really tell, so it's okay. And if you want to see it, uh, you'll have to be friends with Kim because I can't share it. But I did share my picture of Kim just proudly displaying her photo of Brad putting his palm on Kevin Garnett's face, a photo she's been carrying around to get autographed for some time, and finally we got it done. So she does not have one of these because she opted for one Brad signature on an, on an item instead. So you could do a sheet or an item. Some people had, you know, a ball or a shirt or something. So I went for the sheet. And then... You know, Kim got to, instead of getting autographs, she could say something to each player and something nice to each player, which was really nice. She likes each player. And I like each player. I'm going to be sorry to see some of these dudes go, despite the fact that you can tell some of them clearly don't want to be there and are tired of this losing team. And apparently there was a dust-up. They were all getting along last night, as near as I could tell, but apparently J.J. Brea had some words. And J.J. Brea, you know, he has a ring and is a winner, so... It's okay for him to call out these losers on blowing not one, but two separate 20-plus point leads to the Warriors. Disgusting. There's only one game left. It's Thursday. It's the series uh, season-ending season, season ending game against, I should know, but I don't, the Denver Nuggets again. So are the Nuggets trying to tank it to assure their playoff spot in a certain place? Probably not. I know I've ignored a lot of your comments, but since we're doing sports, let me go to the Google Plus comment from Kevin. If it's Google Plus, it must be Kevin. Kevin asks me, what's the general feeling of those in your area about the possible move of the Vikings to Los Angeles? Well, it won't happen. The feeling is we're all resigned to the fact that somehow our government is going to find some way to screw us over, build a stadium, and charge us for it without asking us if we want to vote on the taxes or not. So... Given my druthers, I'd just rather have them leave and not have to pay another god-awful tax for a stadium I'm never going to visit. But that's just me. That's just me. If we're something like, you know, there was a tax on tickets or people going there, people using it, or Vikings memorabilia or merchandise, something like that, I'd be more inclined to care. But it's going to turn out to be they're going to find some way to screw the city of Minneapolis and by the way, is it the Minneapolis Vikings or the Minnesota Vikings? Because you don't seem to be taxing all of Minnesota, just Minneapolis. Think about that. Yeah. There are a couple people who posted in that thread on the W who clearly have no idea what they're talking about, but don't let it stop them. I was going to respond, but it just seemed pointless. I think you know who those people are, though. Here's a hint. They don't live in Minneapolis, and they shouldn't be talking about Minneapolis, especially our budget especially the economy in general. I've said too much. And I'm on the verge of saying too much because my 10 minutes are almost up, and I didn't cover half the stuff I was going to cover. But that's a good thing about being behind is that I always have something to talk about when I'm trying to catch up. In the meantime, get in line, pal. You can leave your comment at YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, The W, Google+. 
Pinterest, uh, Tumblr. I don't know. CRZ.net has the your access to all that things. Uh, I will talk more about everything tomorrow, and I hope that we are back in the groove, baby. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you tomorrow.